Good afternoon, guys. It is August 7th, 2022. In this video here, I want to talk about dishwashers. How do you use them? How uh, do you load them a certain way? Do you use them for certain things? Um, I'm going to talk about a few things you now. Your dishwasher may have various options and settings depending upon the model, depending upon how old it is. Some older dishwashers don't have as many settings as the newer ones. And some of the newer ones are just more simple and more basic than some of the fancier ones. Me personally, I do prefer the older style with simple options with a knob and controls in the front that are very clear. A lot of the electronic ones, I personally have never had those, so I am just not used to them. My entire life I've grown up with dishwashers that have the timer knob on them, and those only. I've never had one without one. So, this is just what I'm used to. This is what our house came with when we got it seven years ago. Um, we rent this house, but this dishwasher works very well. So, regardless of what type of dishwasher you have or how old it is, it doesn't matter. The principles are pretty much the same. Now, your dishwasher may vary in layout and features, but for the most part, they're pretty much the same. So, first of all, I'm going to open up the dishwasher, and you will notice that there are detergent cups in here. There is a compartment for rinse aid. I have never personally used rinse aid, um, but you can look at the manufacturer's instructions on what to do for that. You have a open cup and then you have a main cup. If you have the gel detergent, so the liquid detergent, you would put it in the open cup here. If you have the um, the little detergent pack you would put it in the door here. So that's that. Now the bottom rack. This is your basket for silverware. You have tines. Basically, you're going to put plates in lined up all along here and then make sure that the dirty side where the food goes on is always facing in the center of the dishwasher I have found works the best and you know put them in between the tines so that way they have room to breathe and stuff um, as a side note um, this is a wonderful thing about Corel dishes is they are very thin and so they will fit super easily into any dishwasher. That's a side note. But that's besides the fact, besides the point. It really doesn't matter what dishes you have. I'm just saying I've grown up with Corel dishware. Um, so your silverware is going to go in this basket. You always want your spoons and forks to be facing up. So that way they don't get all crammed in and stuff. And that's the other thing is you do not want to cram stuff into the dishwasher. You know, that's just going to make it harder 
for your dishwasher to operate. Good processed food. These are real life dishes, guys. So, knives of any kind. This is my recommendation. Butter knives, I'm not too strict on, but I still like to point the blade of the butter knife down. Any sharp knives must point down at all times. I cannot stress that enough. Any serrated or fine sharp knives must point down into the basket. Never point them up under any circumstances. Very dangerous. If someone were to reach in here or a little kid were to reach in here, you don't want them accidentally getting cut. Next off, um, so your plates would go in here. Your bowls would most likely go in the back of the dishwasher. And it depends on your layout of your dishwasher. The other thing is, there's a lot of debate on whether you should pre-rinse or not. I've always pre-rinsed my dishes from the time I was a little kid being taught how to do this stuff. I have always pre-rinsed my dishes. So some detergent manufacturers, some dishwasher manufacturers say you don't have to. I would just give it a general rinse. I mean, you don't have to get everything off. But just get the big stuff off, get slobs of stuff off, scrub it, anything that's really stuck on off if you can. Um, it's just going to make it the results a lot better. I'm not saying you have to get all the food off for certain, but that's just something. You know, cups mugs glasses tend to go on the top lined up here any small plastic can go up on the top always put plastic tubware and stuff on the top rack any plastic stays on the top if you have to macgyver and shuffle things around you know, and you have a little bit of space. Again, I don't recommend cramming stuff in, but glass can go on the bottom. I would much rather put glass on the bottom than plastic because it gets hotter the closer to the bottom you go, and it could melt plastic. So that's just a side note. Um, now let's talk about what goes in the dishwasher and what does not go in the dishwasher. If you'll excuse me. Wash my hands real fast. Be touching those dirty dishes. Um, so what goes in the dishwasher and what does not? Now, this is debatable by a lot of people, but I never, ever put pots and pans in the dishwasher. Whether they're nonstick, stainless steel, cast iron, it doesn't matter. I do not put pots and pans in the dishwasher, period. The other thing I do not put in the dishwasher are things like wood, bamboo, anything like that, that will dry this stuff out much faster. Just hand wash these. Um, another thing is insulated travel mugs. Do not put those in the dishwasher. That will degrade the quality of the insulation inside the walls and will ruin that cup 
just hand wash it. It's not a big deal. A um, couple of other things. Now, again, this is a debatable thing, but wine glasses, okay? Any wine glasses that are fine or whatever should not go in the dishwasher. They just shouldn't. So, but yes, so fine glasses, anything fine and fragile should not go in the dishwasher. So, I got my example here. So, as you can see, wine glasses are very, very fine. And you will see on some detergent manufacturers, they advertise with a picture of a wine glass. I do not recommend that. Yes, they are glass, but it is a thin glass. It does not take much to break these especially if you have very fine glasses just hand wash these it's better to be safe than sorry because if you have broken glass in the dishwasher and i have had it and it's not fun it's a pain in the butt to clean out and it's a mess not to mention it's dangerous yes it can fit in there but i do not recommend it it's just too risky. Just gently hand wash it and set it on a drying rack to dry. So, but most of your regular glassware, um, you know, your regular glass, you know, for drinking and stuff, thicker glass will be fine. Um, I have never had an issue with those um, thicker glass like canning jars you know regular drinkware um, you know glass bowls glass plates just things like that um, but any fine crystal fine wine glasses anything like that just do not do it. It's just not worth the risk. Um, I never put fine wine glasses in the dishwasher. I used to, but I just don't like the risk that's involved. So that's just my spiel on that. But you can do what you want, but that's just my recommendation. Now, you would fill this front area with plates going in. And what I do is I just fill this whole back with bowls, you know, overlapping each other. You want to give them a little space so they actually wash properly. And don't have any issues getting clean. Now, again, the pre rinse or not pre rinse, like I said, I always pre rinse my dishes. Always have, always will. Nobody can convince me otherwise. They say, oh, you just waste water doing that. I don't care. I want to get the majority of the stuff off and then whatever grease film is left the dishwasher will get I don't want food particles in my dishwasher I don't want food particles getting stuck in my dishwasher clogging the drain I just don't want that so I always pre-rinse my dishes let 
whatever food particles get screened out by the screens or the garbage disposer, if I have a garbage disposer, which I do not in this case, but that's besides the point. Now, about detergents. There's a couple options that I have. Uh, the first one is, this is not sponsored by any means, but the Finish Detergent Packs. These are outstanding. However, they are expensive. But for how infrequent I run my dishwasher, and honestly, guys, when everybody's at work and very few people are at the house, I just hand wash dishes because I'm not wasting my time waiting for the dishwasher to be full. Because you always want to run full loads to get the most out of your dishwasher. Because you're using the same amount of water, same amount of energy to wash each cycle. So you might as well make sure it's full. Um, so I run my dishwasher once, maybe twice a week. And if we do a lot of cooking or a lot of stuff, using a lot of dishes, I might use it a little more often. But generally, I just run it once or twice a week. I do not run it every day. But that's just my household. If you have a busier household, a lot more people, a lot more kids, home all day doing stuff you may use it more so the finished detergent is wonderful we have used cascade in the past but we moved into an apartment that had hard water deposits and stuff like really really hard water about 10 12 years ago something like that and the cascade was not doing a good job at all. Like, I don't know what it was, but it was not working well for us at all. Haven't used Cascade very much since, but I wouldn't be against trying it again. And I'm not afraid to try it, but we've just used Finish for so long that it's kind of stuck. And to be honest, I'm not super brand loyal with a lot of things but there's a few things that I am you know I do prefer certain detergents for hand washing dishes certain detergents for dishwashers so but the other one I will show you real quick is um, you can find this at Walmart, and this is the off-brand, but it says compared to Cascade, and uh, you can get 96 packs for, like, I think it's, like, $15 compared to, like, 60 to 70 packs for the same price at the finish. I tried these out just to see how a cheaper option would work absolutely no complaints whatsoever um, these are the advanced dishwasher packs by great value from Walmart um, you can get them online or in stores in some stores not all stores carry the same quantity and type but um, Depending upon how often you use your dishwasher, I recommend just having dish detergent of any kind, whether it's hand or dishwasher on hand at all times because you're always washing dishes, you're always using it. So don't be afraid to buy a large pack and just forget it, you know. Buy a large case of it, put it under your sink, you have detergent for a long time. You don't have to think about it. 
It doesn't go bad. It doesn't expire. Just have it on hand. So, because it kind of sucks to run out of detergents and try to wash your dishes and stuff because that's one thing that I always say. Dishes and laundry never stop. From the time you start taking care of responsibility in a household until the day you die, you're always going to be doing something like that. So it's just common sense. Just have plenty on hand. So anyway, I just wanted to talk about dishwashers, how to use them, how to load them, what to put in them, what not to put in them. And I will say this, some people think you cannot live without dishwashers. Guys, I'm going to tell you right now, my grandmother and my grandparents and my parents Half the time, they never, especially my grandmother, when she was growing up, she never had a dishwasher. She didn't even have electricity. So, you know, you can totally live without a dishwasher. It's more of a luxury convenience appliance. If your dishwasher goes out, don't panic. You know, you can always hand wash dishes. I have videos on my channel of hand washing dishes, um, you know, I do both. I use the dishwasher more on the weekend when everybody's home because we have more dishes. But during the week when people are at work and it's very quiet in the house, I just hand wash because it's easier to do that. So I do both, but I understand that some households have a lot more people. They have a bigger family, they cook a lot more, so I understand if you need to use a dishwasher. And I am not against a dishwasher and I am not against hand washing in any way. Whatever works for your household, do what's best for you. But I'm just giving you some tips on this and I've, I have done some videos on hand washing dishes in the past if you want to check those out on my channel. So anyway, that about does it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me in the comments. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos.